Good afternoon and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 16th of January 2020 and the time has just gone 12.55 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is Platinum. And if you take a look at the price action of the metal over the last 15-16 months, we can see here that it's been broadly been pushing higher and that rally has really stepped up, stepped up in late 2019 and also into early 2020. In fact, the levels achieved today, the highs achieved today, um, were essentially at the highest level we've seen in nearly three years. Uh, we're, we're currently trading around 1034, 1034. We haven't seen these levels um, since February 2017, so we're not too far away from the three year highs. And the market's clearly in a, a bullish trend. Uh, some of the reasons for this uh, positive momentum, positive overall feel good factor of the US China trade story. Power outages in South Africa, which is a, which is a large uh, producer of, of, uh, of platinum, but also uh, what's going on in the palladium market. Um, platinum, palladium often some often get lumped in together uh, as both metals are used in the in the um, for diesel emissions in relation to catalytic converters. And given the way things are going, a uh, drive for green energy, no pun intended, has really helped the palladium market and. As palladium is ratcheting higher, in fact, it's another all-time high today. We can also see that uh, giving a nice leg up to platinum. So, um, one of the tenets of Dow theory uh, is that the averages must confirm each other. And essentially, what that means is, if similar markets are moving in the same direction, you can be more confident of that market move. So, for example, we've seen palladium, plat we've seen platinum hit a multi-year high, whereas palladium has hit an all-time high. So it's clear that they get a full sentiment is in both markets and therefore you can be more confident of the of overall trend continuing. So going back to platinum here, we can see uh, we're currently at levels near, last seen nearly three years ago. We're currently trading around 1034, uh, 1034. If you press on higher from here, we could be targeting this zone, 1046. And if you go beyond that, the next big cycle, you know, next big number to keep an eye out for would be this zone here in around 1100. Uh, there's a report called the Commitments of Traders Report, which basically looks at uh, the various different act activity in the futures and options market, the, deriv the derivatives market. And the report showed that going into the end of 2019, the speculative section, uh, which is basically traders and hedge funds and the likes, the number of speculative bets, uh, uh, long, long trades on platinum futures going into the end of 2019 was at a record high. Uh, on, on top of that, and on the flip side, uh, bearish bets, uh, short future, sh short positions from, from the speculators on platinum at the end of 2019 was at the, the lowest level uh, since 2017. So it's quite clear that, that this, this, this is it's quite clear that, that, that uh, speculators, traders, and hedge funds are quite bullish on platinum. But I would see that as a slight warning signal because when the the record high of of, of speculative long positions on platinum could be an early indication that we could be in for a bit of a, a near-term top or we could be in for a bit of a mark correction just because the idea the logic is that if everybody who's very keen to have a long position in platinum is already long who else is left to buy now, i'm not saying there obviously are people left to buy in the market but it's, it's not uncommon to see a market turn around um, not long after it's announced that there is record uh, positions one way or another just because it can often be a sign that that market is overdone. So if we do see a bit of a pullback or a correction in platinum, we could see support come into play in this zone here around 1,000. It's a big psychological number. And But even if you go below that, this is all down here, down around 960 to, to 945. This area here, um, we have seen some consolidation uh, in the, on those price metrics before. So it could be of significance again. And also lastly, even if we have a very sizable correction, we could see support come into play at um, 50 moving average, this blue line here. We can see that particular metric acted as resistance uh, here, and a support here, support here, resistance here, and support along here. So the metric is clearly been kind of flipping between support and resistance uh, in the last few years. So it's possible the metric could be important in the near, in the near, in the near term, although there are no guarantees. Uh, that's all for me this week in relation to the Platinum video. Thank you for listening and please tune in next week.